Spending more is not going to make us healthier. These figures are the percent of GDP of a whole slew of countries in terms of expenditure on health in the world. And as you can see on the far right, the United States stands head and shoulders in leadership in this area. We spend about 15.5% of our GDP on health care. Now, it's not that little underdeveloped countries are on the left side. I mean, you have th things like, the, like Japan, for instance, and Ireland, and, and, and Korea, and Turkey, and Hungary, and, and the United Kingdom, all spending considerably less. So the question is that throwing money or Spending more money, it's not a question of spending more money. More money is not necessarily making us healthier. We are doing a very good job of being unhealthy all by ourselves in spite of the expenditure in the country. Now, while this discussion on the healthcare issue has been going on, which I'm sure you have been listening to all over, what with the Republican Party primaries, and just generally in the last four years, the whole issue of health care being discussed, whether it's going to be canceled or not canceled or tweaked or what. I was getting, of course, like you, I'm sure, more irritated and angrier. And then I got one of those aha moments. Here I was, sitting on knowledge and information that might provide answers. First, by explaining why and how we got to this state. And then, by offering a possible solution. So bear with me. Both answers, by the way, if you did not guess, came from the same unlikely source, space. First, the cause. The enemy of this health issue that has reached catastrophic proportions in the last 20 years is a transformation in our lifestyle. A transformation that began round about perhaps or got worse with the Industrial Revolution. Certainly with the invention of the electric bulb and exploded with the space age. Yes, you got it. I hear chuckles. We sit to a far greater degree than our ancestors. We simply sit. And many of us sit all day long. 